Ronnie Kosher live stream. Hey folks, it's Matt at Piranha Caution Productions, and today we are talking with David Cabeza, comic book artist for the Orville and all kinds of other projects. And right now it's 11 o'clock at night over in Seattle, and it's 8 a.m. in the morning in Spain. Uh, today we're going to try something really different. We've never done this on the channel before, but... Um, uh, we're going to try to do kind of a combination of English and French, which is really going to be interesting because, uh, not French, English and Spanish, um, because my Spanish isn't that great, and David's pretty challenged to English too, so we're both going to kind of struggle through, and uh, hopefully we'll figure out a way to Let's communicate. try. <laughs> but we also have Google Translate uh, on our laptops, so the tratamos. So... <clears throat> Hola, señor. ¿Cómo estás hoy? Buenos días ah. para mí. Ah. <laughs> Estoy so, muy bien. Muchas gracias. ¿Cómo estás tú? Uh, bien. So we're just saying hello to each <laughs> other. Uh, tengo, tengo página de Artstation. Y uh, dentro de a summary de uh, tu trabajo. So I'm saying I found his web page on ArtStation and we've got here the summary of his works. So I, I muchas pinturas or fotos de Orville, the comic book Orville, mm -hmm. y uh, otras, otras cosas. So I see lots of pictures of um, Orville comic books, and then a lot of other things too. So in, in portfolio, uh, like Teenage New Mutant Ninja Turtles, e Mandalorian. Está bien. Mandalorian, yeah. Sí. Um, and uh, other... Those are commissions. Commission artwork, uh, okay. and uh, a part of the Orville, there there is uh, there are commissions. Oh, that's great. <laughs> so, how did you find how did you find uh, Seth MacFarlane, or or the Orville? Orville comic book. Uh, como, como tu, uh, oh, what's the word? How I uh, know about him? Si, sí, a, a, uh, get the gig. <laughs> como haces el, uh, el I trabajo? Knew... Ah, how we uh, communicate or... I, I have no no direct uh, uh, communication with him. I only uh, been in touch with uh, David Goodman um, because he is uh, the writer for the comics, and uh, I the, I didn't have any uh, contact with uh, Seth MacFarlane, but. Uh, I know that he was uh, uh, monitoring what we were doing. Uh, and sometimes uh, we received a, a, a brief uh, commentary about what we were doing. And uh, he was uh, quite happy with uh, some of the stuff uh, uh, I was drawing. And uh, that made me very happy in that uh, few occasions. I remember that he uh, liked uh, especially um, the cover for the fourth issue uh, of the first miniseries, that one uh, with the Creel uh, commander 
and some sheep uh, around him, all in green. <laughs> I don't know if you remember the cover. He liked that one. <laughs> That's great. Bueno. So, Condenses, uh, JP, the uh, egotastic fun time or talking the Orville? Yeah, so, I know him. Oh, great. Yeah, and 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 so, uh, canale, I uh, I muchos videos donde I I los comics, tus comics. See, si, JP, uh, hace uh, uh, the voices, la voz. The, the ah, yes, characters. Yeah. Uh, I've been watching a, a couple of them. <laughs> yeah. It was fun. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. So what I was saying is, does he know, I said, d does he know JP of Egotastic Fun Time, uh, also known as Talking the Orville now, and on JP's show, he's he's gone through the comic books and he's played the voices of all the characters. He's done some really neat videos. Uh, of that it was really exciting because jp is great at voice acting he can do all the characters extremely well it's, it's really fun it to was, see him do it live yeah it, it was fun for me because uh, uh, i can imagine um uh, how the actors are um, um acting the, those uh, um, um balloons <laughs> those uh, words and but it's not the same when uh, I imagine uh, compared to, with uh, actual English uh, uh, voice and uh, it's fun. It's uh, like uh, watching an episode. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, kind of. <laughs> so, I, I says comics in Espanol. Um, no, um, they're not translated to Spanish, to Spanish oh, okay. uh, yet. I hope so. Huh. It seems like it wouldn't be too hard. No, I, oh, muy difícil, no? No, I, no, está difícil. Um, it wouldn't be hard to do, right? No, not difficult. Uh, I think uh, that uh, the only uh, thing we need uh, is uh, a publisher, an, an a Spanish publisher interested on translating them and publishing them here, here in Spain. Okay. Yeah, me pregunto si hay la Orwell en España y, y en yeah, uh, on Disney America, Plus. in Latin America too. Yeah, and mm -hmm. on Disney Plus uh, from from the first day, uh, uh, it was in Hulu uh, in the US, but uh, we have it on Disney Plus since the beginning. So I've been watching the episodes uh, with uh, only uh, hours of delay. Oh, maybe wait. six hours or so. Con English and subtitles, a, or in English, um, in, in, in English and, and in Spanish. Uh, it's not being uh, voice uh, voiced over yet. But uh, at least not uh, the whole series. But uh, if I wanted to see them the same day that were aired, I need to see them in English. So I um, used uh, the subtitles to be sure that <laughs> I was understanding. Yeah. Yeah, I use subtitles too sometimes just because my hearing isn't that good. So, it's <laughs> even in English. Yeah, I have the, I have sometimes the same problem. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm, not, I, I'm not that young. I, I've, I've started in comics a bit uh, old. <laughs> yeah, uh, that just that comes with life. Uh, age. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's that's amazing. So, so, uh, el autoro, quien es el autora? The author. Who's the author? Who writes the script? Uh, um, maybe the a good man. Uh, oh. Okay, and this is uh, in, in Dark Horse uh, Comics. You, you mean, you, 
Yeah, Dark Horse Comics and and the writer of of the scripts is David A. Woodman, who's uh, uh, an executive producer of the series. Oh, of great. The TV series. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, he knows very well all the characters. Bueno. So are there times when... Uh, you get to add, do you get to make suggestions about the stories? So, tu puedes uh, cambiar el historia? Mm. Uh, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, everything is very well written and he always, uh, in each panel, uh, puts a very good description of what uh, he wants. So um, most of the times I don't need to change anything. Uh, it's uh, quite straight. <laughs> and uh, But uh, in few occasions I have to uh, discuss with him uh, some changes, you know, uh, to be able to um, put the characters in... Uh, different uh, positions to make the balloons uh, be in order and uh, keep the storytelling uh, easy for the uh, for the reader. But uh, it uh, happened uh, maybe three or four times uh, in both issues. So he's uh, been doing a, a great job. Uh, wow. Considering that uh, it was uh, his first time uh, writing comics, but he's uh, a writer uh, for television. He's been writing for television for, I don't know, 25, uh, 30 years uh, since uh, uh, the gold, Golden Girls. So he's very experienced and most of the time uh, it's been what he's written. And uh, it was uh, only a matter of uh, following his instructions. Ah, that's great. Wow. So how long, uh, like, cuántas páginas uh, tú puedes hacerlo uh, en un día? How, ma how many pages can you uh, um, make in a day? Uh, Dark Horse uh, considered that uh, this was uh, uh, a difficult comic to do to draw because uh, uh, David uh, wanted um, a very detailed comic, and uh, um, they gave me uh, two days per page, or wow. or so. And sometimes I've been doing uh, uh, pages in three or four days because they were complex, and other times. Uh, I did uh, one in a day or uh, one and a half, but uh, that was uh, um, rare. Okay. Uh, normally two, two days per page, more or less. Uh, the, um, the ship uh, inside is complex, uh, especially the bridge, and uh, the bridge appears a lot. <laughs> And uh, there are uh, a lot of uh, characters all the time at the same time uh, in the scene. So uh, it needed that time to, to be able to do the pages. Okay. Hey, ¿Está hacerlo en, uh, solamente en la computadora o uh, con like a paper? Um, uh, uh, it's everything digital um, the only thing I've been draw, I've, I've drawn in, in paper has been the, the last cover for the library edition that's uh, out in October okay and that uh, that was uh, what's the name uh, for the, the cover that covers all the book all around a wraparound cover Okay. I've, I've done a wraparound cover uh, with all the characters. Uh, I, I, I guess you have uh, seen it on my Twitter account. Uh, it's uh, 
one of the latest uh, tweets uh, put there and it's the only piece uh, over paper that I've done. Wow. All the rest is being digital. Okay. And uh, as normal, SSDs, it's normal these days. Uh, so they're all digital. D- digital. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, most of the um, of the um, artists uh, that I know uh, that are relatively young uh, use uh, the digital medium because uh, it's uh, a bit faster. Right. Uh, it has the um, the inconvenient that. Uh, you can't sell the pages afterwards, but uh, it's better for me to work like that because, uh, you know, uh, every uh, mistake uh, you can uh, easily uh, solve it by control C right. <laughs> and <laughs> it's uh, very useful. But I'd, I'd like to to um, draw uh, the pages uh, over paper because uh, uh, it's uh, it gives uh, the the drawings uh, some warmth that the digital medium maybe uh, is uh, unable to to show. Um, it's uh, less fresh. Uh, Maybe it's uh, that I'm not a, a very accomplished artist. At least uh, uh, I, I don't see myself like that. But uh, because I see other artists that work digitally and uh, they are able to to make appear that it's not digital. But in my case, I think that it shows that uh, I've been doing it uh, on a computer. Um, But, uh, well, uh, the result is uh, quite good and I'm very satisfied with what I've done. Okay. So uh, I think I found it. So no Icolores in the wraparound, see? Um. Uh, in the piece uh, that I have here, and it's Twitter. Uh, black and white, but uh, it, right. in Twitter, it's colored by Michael Atilla. Oh. And it, it, it should be there. Uh, it's the, the first Twitter in my, in my profile, I think. Okay. Uh, I'm looking color. at your Twitter profile. Your pr- and to Twitter mm-hmm. profile, I... Uh, I sketch. There's a uh, fixed. There, there's a fixed Twitter uh, at the beginning that should show the the, the cover. Let me see if uh, if it's still there. <laughs> oh, library edition. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Library edition. Okay. Here it is. <laughs> okay. You see it. <laughs> okay. It's there. It's it's a, a fixed tweet. It's a, okay. a, at the beginning of in the profile. Como has elos? It's is it a watercolor or or pastel or? Uh, Michael uh, works digitally too. Okay. In Photoshop, I think. Okay. He did. Uh, he he always do a, a great job. So the colors are the colors are digital, but the drawings is uh, ink true ink. Is that it? The yeah. Okay. Everything digital. Oh, amazing colors <laughs> but, by Atihe Colors. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. but in that piece, uh, the pencils and, and inks are are uh, over paper are are um, traditional. Just in that piece. Oh, Miro Yafit, 
pero miro otra uh, alien como como Yafit, pero uh, like a paraja, parajo, parajo. I'm trying to say bird. <laughs> uh, like a bird. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that bird. Uh, yes. Um, I, I don't remember uh, right now, <laughs> but it was um, on the last two issues of the comic. Uh, he becomes a very good friend of Gordon, and um, I think it's a female. Okay. Uh, and uh, it, it's uh, an interesting story uh, about uh, her and a um, uh, scientist that's uh, kind of, um, is, uh, well, she's like an, an a slave for him. Oh. And uh, for Gordon? Gordon no, not for Gordon, but for the scientist. Oh, okay. And um, and Gordon wants to her uh, wants to free her. Okay. I I don't remember the name now. I I got the comics here. Uh, let me take one. Uh huh. Te miro eso. Name. Eso alien. Names, como. Uh, como ya fede. Es verde. Charlie. Verde y, y uh, yeah, gordo. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and but. And in the back. Is, uh, she's covered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's covered by antennas. feathers and. A couple of antennas, yeah. So I'm saying, I'm seeing someone who looks uh, like Yafit. She's green like Yafit, but she's got a big beak and she's got antennas. And, uh, mm -hmm. but she looks kind of like a big fat bird. Mm -hmm. When I first saw it, I thought maybe that was what Yafit was eventually supposed to look like. But then I see there's also Yafit elsewhere. <laughs> no, no, nothing, not, not related to him. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'd hold it up, but I, it's on my laptop, so I can't kind of go like that, really. But maybe you can show it to us. Tu puedes mirarla. Uh, um, enseñaros el, el dibujo, dices. Sí. Um, uh, I, I think I have the, the original here. Let me take it. Okay, I have uh, the original piece here. It's uh, a bit big, as you can see. Oh, yeah. And uh, the character. Que hermosa. This one, sí. tell me. Yep. Um, yeah. I, I like the, this piece, uh, these pieces in black and white. Mm -hmm. That's why I would like to to draw more pieces uh, uh, traditionally, but uh, it's uh, the problem is that I'm not fast drawing, and uh, I need to do it digitally right. because uh, otherwise I ca I cannot uh, finish the the books on time. We we uh, as you could, as you have seen, uh, it is. Uh, Two pieces Necesitamos of paper glued <laughs> in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's uh, that's the problem. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. We all need money, so you got to be able to, to in order, <laughs> and for that you got to do it fast. Necesitamos hacerlo muy pronto. See, is that is that correct? Uh huh. I have a deadline, and I have to to do it uh, before the deadline. <laughs> Yeah. 
Ah, that's great. So me pregunto is that is that how did you find how did you get the job to be the comic book guy? How did they find you? Oh uh, well, I have uh, an agent, and okay. um, uh, he uh, sent me a, an email uh, three years ago and told me if I was interested uh, on drawing that comic. Um, he told me that uh, I was on a race uh, against other artists, so I had to to mm, draw a couple of samples. Okay. and sample pages and um, well um, I sent the pages uh, they gave me uh, about uh, 15 days to to draw them and uh, quite a lot of time to do a couple pages but uh, it allowed me to watch the the series the it was uh, season one already aired and um Okay. I watched it because I didn't know the the series at that time, mm -hmm. and I loved the series. I, I liked it very much. I had uh, a lot of fun, and uh, well, after watching it, I did the pages and sent them. And uh, for what I know, um, uh, David a. Goodman received the. Uh, pages for uh, from several uh, artists i don't know how many i think at least uh, four or five okay and uh, well uh, he wanted uh, um said matt farland to decide with him and he put over a table all the pages and uh, um seth uh, said this is the guy <laughs> Oh, okay. And and David uh, was uh, David agree with him because uh, he already knew that I was the guy to <laughs> he just wanted to know um, Seth's opinion but uh, they coincided. Oh great. And uh, after that I received uh, the news that I was selected so uh, you can imagine how happy I was That's great. that day. <laughs> and hay colores and, en esas pá páginas? Yeah, because uh, our, our uh, editor uh, wanted uh, to present the page just colored uh, for folks to see them uh, well finished. Uh, they even had the balloons and all the words. Okay. They were totally finished, and uh, they looked uh, pretty good. I remember that uh, the dra my drawings uh, were a, a little um, uh, dirtier at that time. Uh, I mean, uh, when I uh, received the news that I was uh, selected to draw the comics, uh, they uh, asked me, the only thing that they asked me to do or to change was uh, to do a cleaner uh, faces and do a, a cleaner style. Okay. Uh, but after that, they, they, they let me do just uh, what I do normally. That's great. So cleaner, just less details on the faces. Less details on the faces because they wanted uh, the likenesses uh, really clear and and uh, I tend to put uh, more lines in the faces so uh, they appear may maybe a little older than they are. So it was a, a good feedback. That's great. Wow. So um, have you been... Have you been to LA? Um, never in the US. I've oh, been never wow. in the US. Okay. Uh, Está posible? Uh, uh, I don't in know. In el futuro, maybe, puede ser? Uh, maybe, in the fu maybe in the future. Uh, <laughs> I think that uh, um, I should have been in, in San Diego uh, three years ago. 
when the whole Young cast <laughs> oh, i see that yeah. <laughs> uh, when the whole cast uh, w was there uh, signing uh, the comic the first comic and uh, it, it would have been a blast to be there but you know it's uh, an expensive uh, trip and <laughs> um, i didn't have the money to to do so and uh, um, on the other hand, I think that uh, I needed to be uh, a more established uh, comic uh, book artist because I um, I have only done these comic books and don't have a, a curriculum, <laughs> a long curriculum like other uh, artists that go there. Uh, so maybe in the future, as you said. Yeah, but of course now... Since the Orville's so well known, that that's that's enough. Um, you know, maybe <laughs> you got yourself associated with the Orville, so you know. Now that uh, now that that it's uh, uh, on Disney Plus, maybe maybe it's uh, uh, a well a good moment to to go there. Maybe next year, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it will be fun. Yeah, uh, that's neat. Wow. So, um, so I an, un otro comic de Orville aquí. So you're working on one. Tú estás tra trabajando en otro comic de, de Orville. Um, not now. Uh, I would love to to be back, but uh, not now. Uh, <laughs> I should say that if I were working on them, I couldn't say anything. But okay. the fact is, secreto. That, uh, I'm, <laughs> yeah, secret, but but in this case, uh, the the truth uh, the truth is that I'm not working on it. I in fact I'm working inking another artist uh, and on an, uh, diff an uh, very different comic uh, book, uh, something called Rivers of London. And uh, Rivers I'm of London with uh, an artist, an Spanish artist uh, called Jose Maria Beroif. Rivers of London, yeah. Ah. It is based on, on a series of uh, books uh, um, from an art, uh, a writer called uh, Ben Aronovich, I think. Okay. Ben Aron Aronovich. And uh, they are quite uh, successful in the UK. Okay. For what I know, and uh, the story it's uh, it's uh, like uh, Harry Potter. Oh, okay. Uh, but uh, so no, it's not science fiction, pero it's fantasy. Yeah, fantasy. Okay. That's it. It's uh, it's quite uh, quite fun to draw, to be inking the, those pages and. And Jose Maria Veroy, the artist, uh, it's a very accomplished uh, craftsman. And uh, I'm learning a lot from him. Uh, so I'm having a lot of fun doing this gig. So, no comprendo. So, I otro artist? Artista. Yeah, uh, he he's uh, doing the pencils, and I uh, uh, after he finished the pencils, I ink uh, those pages. So is it like just tr so it's all there in pencil, and then you go over it in ink, and then do you add to it? Uh huh. He's uh, penciling everything traditionally because he uh, I don't know his age, but. Uh, he must be around 50 and some and oh, really he's been old. drawing for <laughs> no not not That's so old, old but... I am. I'm 56 <laughs> <laughs> not all not old at all but <laughs> uh, he's uh, been drawing for like 30 years so he's been drawing traditionally for a long time okay and uh, the inks my inks they are uh, digital, but uh, what he do, what he do is is all traditional. Okay. And um, he's very good, very very good. So does he do all the details, or does he just sketch it really fast, and then you take much more time to f to fill it out? 
it is uh, it is quite detailed because uh, he likes uh, uh, the pages to look uh, uh, in his style. So okay. um, not that I'm mm, tracing, just tracing, but mm -hmm. I'm, I'm adding a, a lot of, of stuff. But uh, in the end, uh, he sometimes uh, can't. Uh, uh, see the difference between his inks and mine. So uh, I think he's uh, very happy with uh, what I'm doing. Algunas veces y, y diga, ah, no, uh, debo, debes cambiar. No está bien cambiar esa página o anything like that. So does he sometimes say, no, this isn't good, you got to change it? You know, no, or is he no. always happy? Uh, every everything is very well drawn, and uh, maybe I can I don't know uh, uh, make uh, a finger short or, or something like that. But <laughs> there are uh, very little uh, mistakes or not mistakes. But as he has a deadline, he has to draw fast, and sometimes he can control everything, absolutely everything. Right. So. Um, uh, having another two eyes that uh, um, put all in place, uh, in this case, me, <laughs> uh, makes uh, the comic better, I think. Okay. So, cuando es el comic book es, está disponible? ¿Disponible? When is it published? Uh, um, this uh, comic, uh, um, it is uh, currently uh, in stores. Oh. I mean... Um, Mm, uh, issues one and two uh, were out uh, last month, I think, uh, the second issue. This month, uh, or maybe next month, uh, the third issue is out, and okay. uh, then the fourth. Uh, and issue number four, uh, I'm working on it uh, already. Okay, pero no hay en tu artestación. But I don't see it on your um, art station. No, no, no. I, I have not uh, uploaded anything yet, okay. but I will do soon. Okay. I okay. think that there are uh, a couple of retweets uh, in in my Twitter feed, but I, I don't know if you can find them. Okay, let's see. Buscarlo, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see here. No, I forgot. I forgot how to say find. Is that buscar or is that uh, search? Uh, search. Well, how do I say search, find? Find, uh, encontrar. Encontrar. Mm -hmm. Okay. Buscarlo, pero no encontrarlo. There's in fact uh, uh, a tweet uh, with the logo of Rivers of London in red. And if you uh, go oh. and click the link... Yep. You can see the preview. Okay, I see. The preview of some pages. Okay. Sí. Hay una niña con los dreadlocks. Yeah. Yeah. And a couple of uh, sisters with the pink hair. Okay, yeah, I see. That yeah. are quite, they are quite funny. Okay. And, uh, Okay, I see also a uh, uh, Shiba Inu. <laughs> Shiba Inu dog. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Fantasy, pero hay las uh, cell phones. So the story yeah, is because, uh, it's, modern. La historia is it's, modern. Uh, an, yeah, modern in now, n nowadays. Okay. Yes, uh, there's magic uh, in the comics. There are okay. a, a couple of foxes that uh, are able to speak even. <laughs> it's okay. interesting. Fun. Okay. <laughs> okay, so... I'll put a link in the description for those. So... Okay, fine. Link. Thank you. I got click. Click aquí. I got click aquí. <laughs> <laughs> click there.
<laughs> That's cool. Okay, so Rivers of London. So, um, ¿qué tal con the um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? <laughs> so I'm saying, what's up I with was, the Teenage uh, uh, Ninja Turtles stuff I see? <laughs> Uh, uh, those are just uh, for fun. <laughs> I did them for fun. Okay. I was a, a big fan of them back in the day, and okay. uh, they're based on the um, on the movie designs on the first movie. Okay. Uh, from 1990, uh, I like that that um, that movie a lot because uh, the turtles were uh, done by Jim Henson Creature Shop. Okay, I see. E I guess you you knew that, and uh, those those uh, those turtles. I think they're they they have a an incredible and amazing design. Right. So I decided to to draw them recently. That's neat. Hey, Miro, Game of Thrones, Danny. Oh. <laughs> right. I see a Game of Thrones of Danny, Danny Targaryen, Daenerys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, that's a commission. Interesante, oh, un momento. Yeah. Oh, wow. Who did that one? That's another artist's version of, that's another artist's version of Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. That's, that was her, that was, I, I met her at um, Comic-Con. Um, it was Tehani, uh, what, that's Tehani, second. This is why it'll be fun for you to do a Comic-Con, because I would have no, have no idea who this person was, but it was Tehani Far. Yep. Mm -hmm. Hard to tell, see. Uh -huh. Anyway, uh, she's she's good. Yeah, she's um, obviously those aren't those are posters. So those aren't comic books. So she spent a lot of time on it. But she also does comic books, too. But yeah. Uh -huh. And so I see into a escuela. I you did paintings as well. You learned how to paint, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. Was it oil? I studied, uh, I studied the fine arts and uh, I painted in oil, acrylic, uh, uh, watercolors, whatever. Yeah, watercolor. I'm always extremely impressed with people who can do watercolors. Like, that's a, I always they, feel like they, that's so scary. They're, they're difficult, yeah. Uh, quite, uh, they, they're difficult to control. Right. But uh, I remember that watercolors uh, somehow uh, were uh, um, something that I can do uh, quite well back in the day. Uh -huh. It's a long time that I don't use them, but uh, I remember that it was a, te a technique that was somehow adapted to, to my manners. I, I, I can explain it, but... I remember that I was uh, painting better in watercolors than in any other technique. More than oil, more than acrylic, more than pastels. Uh -huh. I like the fact that you can uh, apply uh, uh, colors one over the other, just uh, waiting for them to dry. Uh -huh. And that transparency uh, allows you to give a lot uh, of depth in the in the in the paintings. Yeah, I find um, a, a very interesting technique. 
Yeah. Uh, have you ever seen, um, there's some Chinese artists that make these watercolors that are just like amazingly detailed. I don't know how they do it, but, um, <laughs> on Instagram, show. maybe. Yeah. Yeah. On Instagram. I have yeah, a, I, I think, uh, I, I, I think I know what, uh, who are you um, uh, pointing to? Uh, is someone that uh, do portraits? Yeah, there, well, I found it. It's just, a, it's calendars. You can find these calendars, um, mm -hmm. Chinese calendars. It's all in Chinese. But the, mm -hmm. this is the most amazing watercolors, and it's mostly... It's on, it's like, uh, it looks kind of like Venice because it's, there's all these, instead of roads, there's just waterways and there, there, there's all these pictures of, you know, all these beautifully detailed watercolored pictures that I don't know how they do it, but anyway, no, yeah. <laughs> I, there, there are a lot of uh, very skilled, uh, Asian people, it's yeah. uh, incredible uh, how patient are are they to to work on on every piece they are, they they draw or they paint. Uh, they are really skilled. Yeah, yeah, that's all. That's amazing. So, do you find yeah, Jen is a uh, tempo to do uh, other things besides comics? Like, just uh, do you have time to do projects just for fun? Um, not so much, uh, because, uh, I'm a father of two and <laughs> that, uh, that is very time consuming, right. but, uh, sometimes I, uh, I, uh, can manage to, to draw something for myself, something for fun, like those, uh, turtles you see, right. you've seen, and, uh, but, uh, I, in fact, uh, uh, I'm a person with uh, several hobbies, a okay. part of drawing, like oh. uh, like guitar, for oh. example. I saw uh, your guitar behind you. Oh, and there I is like musician. it so much. Oh, great. <laughs> not very accomplished, you know. I I know some chords and, and not more, but. Uh, I like the the guitar a lot, and uh, then I. I've been going to the gym for years and uh, I like to run. Okay. You know, uh, um, well, the, there are several things that I'd like to do uh, more often, but uh, I have to work, you know. I see. Yeah. And then you get, you get paid by the job, right? It's like they'll say, we're going to give you... <laughs> Esos dinero por a eso comic book, right? Kind of a thing. You get this much money for this comic book, and then that's all negotiated. I don't. I don't know if it's uh, ma, uh, uh, much money or not. <laughs> to be honest, uh -huh. uh, I think that I'm quite well paid by by Dark Horse. Uh, um, because uh, considering that it's uh, been my first uh, comic book uh, for the US, uh, they have been um, very uh, generous. Uh, generous, yeah. yeah. <laughs> quite generous. And um, I'm, I'm quite uh, happy with, uh, with what they paid me. That's great. Uh, I, I know that uh, famous artists uh, make a lot more money, <laughs> but uh, I, I'm happy. Yeah. And I, I cannot complain. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Oh, that's really great. Yeah. So, well, I hope you can get another, another uh, gig with the Orville course now the season just yeah, ended another 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 mini series yeah for issues maybe yeah i would like to 
I I am uh, a bit scared, to be honest. Really? Because uh, with all the changes in the show, uh, yeah, the show has uh, changed a bit uh, the the sets. Uh-huh. The, the ship is different inside. Mm-hmm. Uh, the costumes are different. Not much, but it's there's a, a bit of uh, of a difference. So. Um, I think it will be a bit more consuming even <laughs> oh, okay. to do all that detail. But uh, in the end, uh, it will be very similar. Okay. But Sin- uh, I'd like to do it. Since uh, todo es, es en la computadora, es, ¿está posible a copy and paste certain things? Or do you have uh, to do everything from scratch? Copy and paste, uh, I don't think so because uh, i i would need a, a three dimensional uh, uh, objects you know uh, the ship in a 3d achieve or something like that but uh, i can trace uh, i know it's it sounds like cheating but uh, <laughs> i can trace uh, some uh, some uh, clips backgrounds or something like that right. to be a bit to be a bit uh, faster sometimes when i need it but uh, normally i i just uh, draw um, referencing from from the show and from uh, the um, big amount of uh, pictures that uh, Fox gave me back in the day. But now if I draw a new miniseries, they have to give me new reference, give me new reference. Okay. References. Have you drawn Charlie yet? No. Charlie Burke? She, I, I, have no, I have not drawn her yet. And uh, after uh, her end, I don't know if uh, I I'm going to to draw her in the future because uh, I think if uh, we do uh, another miniseries, uh, we will do uh, something like uh, season three point five. So okay. she won't be there. You never know. I, I'm, I'm not sure if uh, I'm going to to draw her. To okay. be honest, it okay. would be fun. How about uh, have you drawn Mark Jackson? Uh, um, <laughs> only Isaac. Not only him. Isaac, but never, never, never the never human him. Isaac. Never the human. Ah, that could be possible. Never had the chance. Yeah, in the in in. In a new miniseries, if uh, he keeps uh, showing up inside the uh, the simulator, maybe yeah. I can draw him. Yeah, yeah. I always call it the hollow deck. <laughs> I mean, it's but I mean it's called the simulator, but obviously it's the hollow deck from Star Trek. But mm-hmm. <laughs> wow, oh, that's so that's really cool. It's it's. It's just it's just fun to do stuff. Well, right now we're all really hoping for season four, of course, and everybody's. Yeah. I'm always in Twitter. I'm putting you know renew the Orville whenever all I can. All the time. <laughs> yeah. So, and people are pretty optimistic right now about getting another season. So, I mean, season three was so good. You know. Yeah. The, the the leap in quality has been incredible. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, they talked about how each mm-hmm. each episode was como una película, you know, yeah, and um, like a film. Yeah, like a film, and especially uh, the the episode before this one, I forgot what it was called, was really like a film. Uh, the episode video. nine, yeah, yeah, it was like. <laughs> Uh, I, that was an action I put, movie. Yeah, yeah. I, I wrote a, a, a tweet just after watching it because it made me feel like uh, I was uh, six years old again and yeah. I was watching Return of the Jedi. Again. Yeah. It well, was, for me, it was uh, like uh, a Star Wars, uh, one of the, the first ones. Right, you know, the it, good ones. <laughs> it reminded me... 
I can see how that sequence was like the Return of the Jedi uh, sequence, but I, to me, it reminded me of the original Star Wars movie, A New Hope, when they were flying through the trench, mm -hmm. trying to blow up the yeah. Death Star for the first time. I was like, okay, this is obviously referencing this, you know? See, yeah. I, also, it kind of also when they did when they jumped out of the shuttle and were doing the jetpacks, that mm -hmm. that reminded me of J.J. Abrams' Star Trek, the two thousand nine Star Trek. So, I, I, I'm not sure if I have watched the other one. <laughs> that's but, um, uh, that has uh, the cap. Chris Pine plays Captain Kirk. Yeah, I, I know I have uh, watched one, but I don't know if, if it's that other one. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, what I see in the Orville, I mean, I, there's references. These, they're obviously referencing all kinds of different shows. All the, all the time, yeah. Yeah, and they're doing all it the on time. purpose, and they're doing it in a way so you, you know what they're referencing. Like the one, the episode... Um, the horror episode that was representing rep, ref, referencing Alien. Mm hmm Tu sabes Alien, no? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I know. So, like, when they're, they're, like, the thing's going like this, and the guy's looking into it, and I'm like, don't put your face in there. <laughs> I, and then it poofs him, you know? <laughs> ah, yeah, I remember that one. Yeah. The sec maybe the second episode of yeah, the Yeah, number two. Back. That was mm -hmm. like uh, in, it was called like in the darkness or something like that. In the shadows, shadow realms. Shadow realms. Shadow, shadow realms. realms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I remember that I was uh, thinking uh, during that scene, uh, why they don't have a helmet? I know. <laughs> because they, they are in, in a new environment. And they don't know what uh, they're going to, to meet. Especially since the scene before, they did have helmets on, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So, I knew something was going to happen. And, of course, when he was looking right into it, you knew for sure. I was expecting <laughs> it to come out and get him like that, you know? <laughs> At least it didn't do that. But, those, yeah. Those references to, to other movies and, and shows are great. Yeah. Uh, um, I think uh, it's something that said McFarlane that's a lot because uh, I saw a lot of references on Family Guy. Right. Uh, a lot of Star Wars stuff. I don't know if, if Star Trek is referenced a lot because uh, I must be honest that uh, I don't know much Star Trek. Okay. But uh, Star Wars is always there in Family Guy. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean... Thing about Star Trek is, I mean, the entire Orville show references Star Trek. It's very mm -hmm. much, I mean, when you see it, it's like, oh, wow, this is based on TNG, the next generation, mm -hmm. you know? So. I know that uh, David Goodman is uh, a, a very uh, big fan of uh, Star Trek. So, uh, well, and Seth MacFarlane too, so... Um, I understand that they put a lot of it in the show. Yeah. 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 It's very, it's very obvious. I mean, it was mm -hmm. really funny because when um, the Orville season one came out, people were kind of mad. There were a lot of P Star Trek people that were really mad at what was going on with Star Trek Discovery at the time. So a lot of people were saying, well, the Orville is better Star Trek than Star Trek is right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> including me, I was saying it too. I was like, wow, you know, Seth MacFarlane knows Star Trek better than the people that are making it, making Star Trek at the moment. So, I, I uh, remember uh, uh, reading a lot uh, of uh, reviews uh, saying that it was like Star Trek with humor <laughs> or something mm -hmm. like that. And uh, the show has evolved a lot uh, uh, along the seasons. And now I think it is what needed to be in yeah. this uh, last season. 
Yeah, yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's been a, a very good, very good season, amazing season. Yeah, he's. I miss maybe a, a bit more uh, comedy uh, at some points, but uh, I understand that it's better this way. Yeah. Well, because you could I see remember, that. Uh, um, Yeah, you could see that this, whoopsie, we just lost him. I'm sorry, I, I, I lost you for uh, some seconds. Okay, yeah, it blanked out for a sec, but now we're back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, um, well, what I heard is that uh, for season one, mm -hmm. they, ha they had to sell the show to, to, uh, to the uh, producers basically as a comedy because that's what, Seth MacFarlane was known as his shows like Family Guy. And then once they got it green lit and got the show off the ground, then he actually got wanted to do a lot more serious, serious sci-fi. And so he sort of made, let it evolve to what it is now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's, um, now it's I great. I mean, it's just so such great storytelling and then amazing. Everything about this season was so good. Mm -hmm. The character development, uh, the acting, the story, the f visual effects were crazy. <laughs> like, you know, I just saw an interview um, just yesterday with, um, with uh, one of the visual effects people. And he's, you know, those scenes where they have like about a hundred ships all flying around all at once. Mm -hmm. He said a scene like that takes like a month to do. For the oh, visual wow. effects artists. You mean that, that scene where, when the orbit was surrounded by Kalon? Yeah, or like there's oh. so many scenes where like there's like, I swear there's a hundred Union ships. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know, and everybody's battling and there's like ships everywhere. Uh -huh. And it all looks really good. You know. Yeah, um, all, all that stuff uh, must uh, need a lot of work. For sure, yeah. and a lot, a lot of time. I, I always uh, think uh, when I'm drawing a comic book that I need uh, a couple months to finish one, and uh, people read it in five in fifteen minutes. I know <laughs> that's a thing. It's a bit frustrating. Yeah, but uh, but there's a lot of work uh, on on them and a, a lot of love on them. Right. But there are, I mean, it's people that really love comic books that will take a comic book and they'll study it and appreciate it, you know. Yeah, and, and they find uh, all the all the, det the little details that we put on, uh, like Easter eggs here and right. there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sometimes David Goodman uh, tells me, put uh, this uh, on this panel, uh, but very, uh, um, como se dice, escondido. Uh, um, uh, hiding something. Right. And uh, sometimes I, I suggested uh, to put, uh, I don't know, a, a little detail behind the, uh, a, a character uh, just to, to put an Easter egg there for the fans, and most of them uh, have been found by the fans uh, just uh, with the book out uh, for four days. They found them. Right. They and really if... analyze what uh, what is uh, written and what is uh, depicted in the panels. Yeah. And if if somebody never finds one of them, you can always give them a hint on Twitter. <laughs> what? Uh, a hint. I didn't understand that. Uh, let me see. I'll look it up. A hint. Let's see. Una, pi una pista. Una pista. Let's see. Let's see if that's right. Insinuacion. I, I, puedes uh, 
puedes ah, uh, insinuación. Puta, insinuación en Twitter. You know? Mm -hmm. Anyway. So, well, that's great. Well, I think we should wrap it up. We've been talking for about an hour or so. We mm hear -hmm. a lot of topics and it's past midnight, so I kind of have to go to bed. <laughs> you get to wake up. Mm -hmm. It's late. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so muchas gracias, mi amigo. Es, es, uh, we, uh, uh, what's the word? Oh, shoot. Um, I lost it. Say it in, say it in English. <laughs> I'm trying to say I was, I'm very enchanted. What's the word that people say in Spanish? Uh, encantado. Encantado, sí. Estoy, <laughs> estoy muy encantado contigo. So, oh, thank you. Uh, which is, and it's great to have you in, in mi show, in esa video. It, it's been fun because uh, it's uh, just the second time that I do this. <laughs> I remember uh, two years ago uh, doing uh, uh, a meeting with uh, David Goodman and uh, someone that was uh, doing uh, uh, the interview. And uh -huh. um, I, I was uh, a bit scared right. <laughs> because my English, you know, it, it's not perfect, but it, it all went well. And it was a lot of fun to meet uh, David at last, uh, even if it was only uh, through a screen. But um, I think that, that I have to do more of these interviews. Yeah. Because it's fun. It's really fun. It is. And, and people love to see, they love to just see artists and actors as a real person, you know, mm -hmm. you know, how yeah. you really are. It's, it's very fascinating. Yeah. So. I, I like a lot uh, when uh, um, the actors uh, do these interviews, this, uh, uh, they are quite informal uh, with uh, JP or or other uh, uh, people, and and it's quite uh, interesting and and fun. Yeah, it's a blast. Well, that's great. All right, sir. So we can always we can always talk again too when when something yeah, new yeah, comes for up. Yeah, sure. When if another Orville comic for sure, or uh, we can talk about any of your other work. Too, mm -hmm. if you want to come back and talk about anything else you'd like to promote or just discuss well we're in touch yeah we, <laughs> we can do we can do another interview whenever you want yeah it'd be a blast okay if 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 uh if we do a, a fourth mini series of the comics uh count on it okay very okay. good very good <laughs> okay thank you sir buenas noches a uh uh, buena, tenga buen día, cuídate, mi amigo. <laughs> Igualmente. <laughs> okay. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Thank you. I'm Kosh Production. Fantastic creations emerging spontaneously from the space of life. For the benefit of all beings everywhere. We gotta change.